you just had a thought. You have to remember that when Kanika's friends reported her missing, they reported her missing to the front desk and to security. It should have been easy for security to check the cameras because, I mean, it was the wee hours of the morning. It, there wasn't that much movement. So all the security guard had to do was go into his office, um, look at the cam, um, the video equipment, the surveillance equipment, and run a search. I mean, something simple, you know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. That's negligence, big time negligence. I don't see why it's so hard for people to understand that. I mean, it's not like it was like at three o'clock in the afternoon when the place is real busy and you're trying to search for a specific person. It's like a needle in the haystack, you know? But, you know, three o'clock in the morning, I mean, you can check the parking lot. You can check all of the cameras. I mean, it makes no sense. There was no need for this young lady to be missing for all those many hours. It, it just makes no sense. So here is our NVR. So starting off with the power button, it is gonna be located right there. That is gonna turn your NVR on and off. Alongside that, we have two USB ports. Those are 2.0 ports. On the back side, there's a 3.0. So we recommend using that back 3.0 USB port if you are exporting any videos. And a really quick reminder when you are using that 3.0 USB port to use a 3.0 flash drive. Alongside that, there's the status button. You wanna make sure that light is green. And then next to that, you will see the recording button. So that will be blinking red, indicating that your video cameras are recording. And then next to that is going to be your hard drive lights. So in this case, we only have one hard drive. And then alongside that, you will notice the net light is lit up. So this indicates how well your internet connection is. And then finally, we have all of our ports. So this indicates how many cameras you have and if your cameras are functioning. So in this case, we have one camera located on port two and it is functioning correctly. And then here is our 16 channel NVR. It's going to have the lights previewed on the front, just like so. So there you have your status, your hard drives, and your channel lights. On the back side here is where all the ports are going to be. Those ports will have lights that will, of course, light up if it is functioning correctly. And then right here is where we have our switch to turn on and off the NVR. So here is our monitor feature. So we're gonna slightly move the mouse there and this bar will show up. We're going to click on that top feature and that pretty much indicates how you want the monitor to present your camera footage. So you can choose whatever style or format you want. In this case, we only have one camera functioning for this demonstration. Next, we're gonna click on that search tab and that's gonna bring us to this page. Notice that we only have that one camera, but if you have multiple cameras, those will pop up and then you will get to choose a date. And then once you've chosen that date, there will be a blue bar lit up across the bottom of the screen. And in this case, we only have a little bit of footage, so our blue bar isn't lit up as much. But you will get to choose a certain time frame. So in this case, we're gonna choose this certain time and it will pop up what footage was recorded. So some other amazing features on this page is your audio. So you can control the audio, whether you wanna listen in or turn it down. Um, you can also rewind for 10 seconds or fast forward for 10 seconds. And then you can also just rewind and fast forward in general. And then you can press pause or play. And so the next icon is really awesome. You're allowed to speed up your camera footage. So if you're not wanting to watch something for a certain amount of time, you wanna speed it up, you can crank that up. So in this case, we did 16. And I believe you're gonna watch Oliver's lovely feet wander by. Boom, there they go. All right, and then moving on, you can zoom in and out on your camera footage. So say if you wanna zoom in on a certain object or person, you can go ahead and move that around 
showing up in the right hand corner. And the last icon in the bottom right hand corner allows you to save exported clips. So any camera footage that you want to save, you will choose a date and time. How you can edit those is clicking the little pencil icon right there. And then you're going to click on the far right side and that should save your exported clip. As it will show, it is saved. Now going back, another way to export clips is going to be the next icon below. You will go ahead and click on that. And this allows you to select multiple cameras over a certain period of time. So in this case, we only have one camera, but if you wanted different angles, different views, you will select multiple cameras, select your date and time, and click Save. And remember to have that 3.0 flash drive already plugged in when you're exporting any sort of video clips. So clicking the next icon below, this will take you to the main settings page. And as you can notice, there are a lot of options here. So here we're going to show you guys how to add a user. So we're going to click on user there. We're going to click the add button and you have your username and you will put that in for whatever you want or whatever you desire. And then below that you will enter in a password. So after that password is created, you can choose whether the user can control the cameras through the back end page or if they're only able to view certain cameras, it's whatever you kind of want to choose. After you've chosen their role, you can go ahead and click on save there and that will save your new user. So once that new user has been made, we're going to go over to the menu bar here and we're going to click on Vivo Cloud Service at the bottom there. And so with that new user, you are allowed to scan this barcode at the bottom of the screen, which ultimately allows you to view your cameras from your mobile device. All right, so once you have downloaded the Vivo Cloud app, use your username and password. We're going to click on the three lines up above, and that will take you to this menu page. And as you can see, you have all these multiple options, but I want to quickly point out that if you're wanting to share your camera footage with someone else, you will click on share devices and that will bring you to a page where you will type in that person's email and then they will get a notification about it. So now we're going to click on add devices, add the devices manually, and that should take you to this page right here. What we're going to do is click on that barcode at the top. And then just like how the process shows, we're going to point our phone camera at the barcode on your monitor or screen, and that will take you to the camera footage. So that is how easy it can be just connecting your cameras to your mobile device. Once that is done, if you want to choose a specific camera, you can view that on your phone just like so. Another really cool feature is you can select a specific date and time on a camera. And then that footage will pop up just like so. And then you can select the quality of the camera shown at the bottom of the screen. So just a quick recap here. You're able to view your cameras from your monitor and your mobile device. And you're able to export and save videos from your monitor. All done through the VivoTech NVR. Now if you guys have any questions or concerns about the NVR or your cameras in general, just contact Astra and we'll be glad to help.